So something that everybody thinks is that being the bad guy, being the bad boy, being tough is like a strength in business. Yeah. But it's actually a, a very powerful weakness. Yeah. Right. Be easily exploited. Yeah. Oh, this is. This is a great conversation. We have never been here before. Oh, oh, we have oh, never oh. been here before. Okay, 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 okay. I know exactly where you're going with this. This, this is okay. a conversation. Okay, so <laughs> we do this like 12 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a lot of people, a lot of people are afraid of being scammed, and um, especially in real estate, everybody's really defensive. Like, oh, I'm gonna protect my twenty thousand dollar fee, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna collaborate. With I need to send, you, I need to send you something to sign. I, I need an NDA. We get NDA. <laughs> We're like, anybody that sends us, anybody that sends us an NDA? We automatically like, ignore them. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll be sure to check this deal out. Yeah, yeah. This, this, girl <laughs> this girl sent me an NDA on a land deal, and I was going to I was gonna sign it. I was going to read it, and I just never got around to it. It was like day after day after day, weeks later. I'm like, man, damn, hold damn, hold damn, forget it. Like, I don't want the deal. <laughs> well, did you sign the paperwork? No. <laughs> but I didn't want to stop to do it. So automatically, like, when people send me an NDA, I'm just like, man, oh, man. I don't want to read it. I don't want to go through the legal liability. I don't want to know what it's about. Like, you're just giving me a legal problem now that could get me in legal trouble. Like, just keep the whole deal. Keep yeah, the NDA. Figure, figure it out. Don't help me. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't help me and I won't help you because you're, you're giving me a legal problem and you want me to, like, legally analyze it in a few minutes. And I'm like, damn, even if it's a 30-minute commitment, like, I don't want to d dedicate 30 minutes to something. And then all of a sudden, you send me a deal that's on the MLS plus 10%. Like, Dang! That was a waste of time. That was a, it was very terrifying for you to do that to my 30 minutes. If we could any way to pay them back, I'd appreciate it. But have a nice day anyway. So it, it, co it comes to the point where you, uh, if, you act, if you act in abundance and you have abundance mentality, you give opportunity to people to steal from you. Mm -hmm. Because most people, when they, get, when they have the opportunity to do it, they're going to do it. Oh, we're going to use that 350000 Like, kind of, yeah. Like, <laughs> Oh, dang. Now we're in court for three years. Like, oh, man. I wish you would have just told me ahead of time that you were going to steal the 350000 we We're going to do more deals with you. Oh, and, well. And then all of a sudden now, like, ah, oh, damn. Okay, keep the 350000 I got to go buy a $2 million rent real quick. So it's yeah. like that was a, a big suicide. Like a, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very confusing, at, at, to say the least. And, like, this isn't the first time this happened. We had another guy. He, stole, he got, like, $20,000. We sent him a lead. He made money on it. Didn't send any money our way. So it's just like another thing. Like, yeah, okay. So look, here's, here's the most dumbest thing you ever heard in real estate. <laughs> Somebody sends me a text message and I'm like, hey, this is probably a deal. And I look at him and I'm like, damn, this is probably a deal. But I don't want to invest an hour or two into the deal, right? But it's 100% chance of it going to be a deal. So I rolled through my... We sent, rolled through the Rolodex and we sent it to a friend. We, I go through the forget a dex and I send it to just the first person that comes to mind that's been contributing and helping us. Because I'm like, okay, cool. That guy probably needs $10,000. He can use the money. So I send the whole entire deal, 20000 spread. And it's like, I hope he kicks me 10 and I hope he keeps 10 But then like he makes the whole 20 and just doesn't call no more. Like, ooh, damn. Okay, he probably needed it pretty bad. I'm still not mad. But next time I get a deal, that guy's not the first in the list. Like, no, I'm not calling And you not guys. for no bad reason. I'm not mad. I'll send, you another, uh, I'll send you another grant or two to turn off your lights or whatever. But uh, it's like you lose the opportunity for the next up. And then I think that's where the value is, and that's what people are not paying attention to. And it's, it's, uh, it's, the, <clears throat> it's the cookies in the cookie jar. Ooh, those cookies look nice. <laughs> I'm going to stick my hand in it, and I'm going to take the cookies. And then you realize you're never going to get cookies again. <laughs> <laughs> now they're going to put them on top of the fridge. <laughs> it's a cold, dark moment. <laughs> so I think that's something that uh, people, I think Daniel and myself, I don't know if we've gone far. I know people do way better than us, and they got more shine and clout and all this. But I think we're having fun. It's fun. You know, we're making a little bit of impact in somebody's life somewhere. And um, that's a fun, we're having a lot of, we're doing, we're make, it, the business is going pretty cool. And then we're, we're able to practice daily uh, manufactured happiness. If you haven't seen the man, manufactured happiness video, go to YouTube and type in uh, Hive Mind, Daniel Anthony, uh, manu, what's it called? Man, uh, manufactured happiness. It's called that? Yeah. Oh, called. oh damn. Manufactured happiness. And uh, it's cool, man. It's just like, hey, if you, you do I just give him like four seconds on it? Yeah, go ahead, four seconds. <clears throat> so here, here's my take on it. Maybe I'm wrong, right? I just think a lot. But let's say that you're going to want to be um, angry or, or you want to make somebody angry. You're going to have this argument with this person. Be, whatever story you formulated in your mind, the way that this person wronged you, now you're going to show them how angry you are in return. 
So the first thing you have to do, step one, is you make yourself very, very angry, all right? So now you go from being in a good mood, a normal mood, to very, very angry. You're like, oh, I'm so mad when I see him. Oh, it's going down. And then when you see that person, you make a bunch, and you're like, hey, you want some of this? And the guy's like, yeah, I'll have some. Boom, now you're both pissed. But it also works in the opposite direction, right? So if you're not feeling so amazing, you, you, you make fake happiness in your body. You find a way to bring up your mood, diet, exercise, prayer, meditation, church, something. And then <clears throat> as you're starting to make yourself feel more happy, then you can share it with the person next to you. Yeah. And so now Daniel's laughing. He's in a good mood. We're talking shit. Like things are just, we're just clicking and we're, it's a good vibe. So um, uh, it's something that we get to practice on the daily with this business. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. It's fun stuff. That was my thesis. <laughs> right. <laughs> let's just, let's jump back. Let's jump back to uh, pe pe people think they got the one up on you. I think we, we heard a story recently of people people think they have the upper hand, but somebody's always watching and always comes back and always comes to light. And um, you may not like it when it comes to light, but somebody somebody always knows. Yeah. Even if you think you got away with it, somebody always knows. And then stuff's on paper now. Everything has a digital record. So if you do if you do if you cheat somebody out of a deal, if you think you beat them and you got the better percentage by being slick or smart. That's on paper now. It's on the emails. It's on the internet. So it's a weird decision. Oh, let's talk about the one story where somebody did somebody wrong in the community, and then like, oh, why'd you block me? <laughs> <laughs> I just go all the way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. I so, mean, we don't have to drop names because. So we're at HBHS. They don't know who they are if they're watching this. You know who you are. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we were at HBHS event. Charles and Mike invited us to speak, and uh, there was like 500 people. There was a badass event. One of the best, biggest events I've ever been to in my life. And um, somebody had done somebody wrong in the hive mind. It was a deal that was going south. The guy uh, finds a way to capture the whole deal and cut everybody else's profit down to nothing. And he did the gun to the head approach. Like, hey, take it or leave it or get out of the deal. Ooh. I know there's probably a lot of reasons that that might happen. Like, hey, the people stopped participating. They didn't deliver on what they said. They tried to steal the lady's money. I don't know what the details are. But if you're gonna gun to approach, gun to the head approach, like four or five hive mind members all at the same time, I kind of don't care what the reason is, and I'll tell you why. Because if I got into a situation where, hey, man, shoot, I'm about to lose $100,000, but four of my hive mind friends who I know, love, and trust are going to be put in a very bad position. Yeah. But no, they effed up. They effed up. I want my $100,000, even though they're all going to take a negative $8,000. All right, all right, you're out. Because I would never do that to one of my friends, never. Not even for a million, not even for 10 million. So if you, have, if you put a price tag on treating me and my friends like that and my wife and my friends, you're out. Yeah. And there's no, ex I don't, and he was like, but you didn't, did you hear my side? No. Don't Thank care. God that those words didn't fall on my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. And I told him to, I'm never unblocking you because I already know that person's heart now. And I'm not saying I'm the most saintest, saintest of the ever saintest that ever sainted, but you don't do that to people. Yeah. Not to people that you think are your friends. Yeah. So what, what goes around comes around. Do, 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 do the right <coughs> things when you're supposed to. And, um, it goes a long way. It's such it a powerful. Goes, it sounds like, oh, they're preaching happiness or like, you know, whatever. This makes you money. This, yeah. this is how you make money. Be cool. Be nice to people. Over time and distance. Do the right thing. Overpay. Overpay time. Overpay money. Buy people stuff. Right? Buy strangers stuff. Fix them up. Um, help a stranger move a car out of the way. So every time somebody's like, how's Texas? How's Texas? How are the people in Texas? Effing amazing. You're at a four-way intersection. Your freaking jalopy breaks down. And all of a sudden, like 12 people get out of the car and push you into the gas station. You don't flag nobody down. You don't honk or nothing. There's no secret code. People just jump out, move you out of the way. Everybody goes about their business. I was like, wow, that makes me proud to be uh, from Texas and San Antonio. So I, th I, think, I think if you, if you, if you take care of the, the, the karma effect, you do good, people do good for you. And, and, and so I want, some, I want to point something out, because me and Daniel use words like karma and all this stuff. I'm religious, I'm Catholic, I'm proud of it, I'm happy. I, I go to church three times a month. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> times a month. I got to miss something sooner or later, bro. I'm a human, man. That's a mortal sin. Um, but like... You know, we're just human. You know, we're, we're all trying to do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. I think it's funny. I don't know. But if, if you think $10,000 is a lot of money, take it. I mean, but. I would rather that person take the 10000 and now we're not friends no more. <laughs> 
the 10,000 is your reward for telling me who you are. Yep. Thank you. I got a lot of important things to do this afternoon. So if the money is, if it, when people start counting pennies, we call it counting pennies. Um, Tripping over pennies. Yeah. You know what? You can have everything. Like imagine you're playing Monopoly and uh, if things are going fantastic and they're going in your favor this day, right? And then everybody else on the thing like getting violently mad, like they want to hit you like, down. Hey, I'll just keep everything and I'm out of here, right? Yeah. So if somebody's getting weird about uh, money like that, then um, not that we don't need it, right? Because we need every penny we can get. We have a lot of friends and family that, that count on us and we want to do some nonprofits and charities, but um, it's a weird way to be with, your, with your, what you would call your friends or your business partners. So I've blocked, man, I've blocked more people last year than I've probably blocked in my entire life on Facebook and their phone numbers. And I feel a lot more clear. I feel a lot more like happy. I feel a lot more um, calm. So uh, sometimes you gotta. I just mute them. I want them to see what I'm doing. <sighs> I just kind of like don't want to ever see them again. Like I'm not mad. I don't know if that's toxic. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but it's like if I could never see you again, that would make me feel 0 0.01 more fulfilled. Uh, for, for everybody here, what what what's really amazing about this business is that there's billions of people and i just don't have to communicate with you <laughs> that's what i'm saying like look look we love everybody we help everybody because we give money to people we don't even know on the damn screen on the stage like hey this girl's like i don't have enough money for nine light i'm like send her 10 bucks i don't even know who she is i don't know her first and last name i don't know nothing here's 10 bucks get land glide and then i can help you and then like, we had a guy who's like I, I think i got a deal run ghost ads i don't have any money Dude, i'll send you 15 bucks right now you want money <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? So it's like, yeah, if people are willing to put in the work, then we're going to try to make the, help them make it happen. Yeah. I have a realtor right now. I gave him ad spend to help me sell some property. You know what I mean? Like, it's because if not, what if we had to do that ourselves? We get yeah. to, we pay for it. We get the phone calls like, ah, you're listing it. You talk to those people. So here, here's a thousand bucks, you know, let me know when it runs out so I can fill it up again. Um, and and it, I would trust that that guy has been with us for a long time. And he's always provided value and he's never called me and said, hey, what am I getting? He just works and works and works. And so like, I just feel guilty. Like here's some leads, here, here's some listings on something that I could just sell by myself. Yeah. But we, we take care of our people, man. And, and it's fun. It, um, I feel very uh, trusting. I feel calm. Like nobody's gonna steal a deal from me. So it's a pretty cool headspace to be in. That was manufacturing happiness. We talk about how when you create happiness for yourself you can then share it with others the same way that if you wanted to create anger for yourself then share it with others that's two opposite sides of the spectrum so it's a cool video check it out guys boom